thank you so much. Uh, we, we are deeply, deeply honored, President, uh, that you are with us. We've got uh, 40 of the most prominent presidents from uh, different countries. And I know a few said, if I don't introduce them to you, they will not be very happy. So if, if you indulge me for one minute, President, I'm going to start with uh, the President of Morocco. Can you please stand up, Fuzi? Uh, Fuzi uh, Lacha, can you just stand up? Merci. Can we clap hands for Fuzi, please? Eh? Okay. And then I introduced our first Vice President, uh, Senghor, who's the President of Football in uh, Senegal. Can we clap hands for Senghor? Okay. And the second Vice President is from Mauritania. He's the President of Football in Mauritania, but the second Vice President of CAF. Can we clap hands for him, please? Yeah. I, I need the clapping to be a little bit more exciting. Eh? More. And then from Djibouti, the president of football from Djibouti. Can we clap hands for him, sir? And then from Cameroon. They say that in Cameroon, they are also as tall as the people in Rwanda. But uh, you can see he's very tall. From president of Cameroon. And then there's the president of Seychelles. She's our fifth vice president. What did I say? What country did I say? Comoros. I said Seychelles. You say, Charles, they promised me a holiday home, Comores. <laughs> Thank you. And then next to her, President, and she's the first female inspired by the good work you do here to lead not just in Africa, in the world, in terms of female participation. She's the first vice president of CAF. Next to her is uh, uh, Amaju Pinik, the president of football from uh, Nigeria. Can we clap hands for Amaju? <laughs> He said that if he wasn't a citizen of Nigeria, he would like to be a citizen of Rwanda. I don't know how, yeah. Next to him is our brother from Uganda, the president of Uganda. Can we clap hands for him? Next to him is our president from uh, Lib Libya, president from Libya. Can we clap hands for Libya? <laughs> Wonderful. And next, the president of Benin, beautiful country. They'll be hosting the Confederations Cup, president of Benin. Can we and the next one is from Liberia. They were hosting us in Liberia with George Weah. And uh, Sudan, eh? Sudan, Somalia. Yeah. Uh, President of Somalia, uh, can, can we clap hands for him? Our leader from uh, uh, Cote d'Ivoire, he was the uh, former president and my personal advisor, Jack Anuma. Who's next to him? Who's next to him? Is it local? Or, uh, is it the management? Or is it local? <laughs> I want to introduce your ministry to you. If I go, one of our excellent ladies, who is uh, president from Sierra Leone and vice president, it helps on the women's as well. Uh, wonderful. Aisha. Our brother from Burkina Faso, president, former president, but also part of the EXCO. He's a general. You know, generals are special. A colonel. Woohoo! He's a colonel. So I feel very comfortable when I've got the colonels next to me. And our brother, uh, our brother from Gabon, from Gabon, yeah, Pierre, Pierre, Pierre Alain Gabon. He's always wanted to be a general, but, uh, you know, he's got to become a, a colonel as well. And then next to him, the president from Botswana. Can we clap hands for him? And then the president from, uh, now he's a colonel as well, eh? Yeah, we've got, all, you know, we feel safe from Niger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, you know, pre one of our most outstanding leaders, colonel from Niger, leader of football. And then the other one is from Seychelles, president from Se Seychelles. Can we clap hands for him? The one next to him, I don't know where he's from, but uh, he's from Rwanda. Sorry, he's from South Africa. Sorry, can you stand up, the president from South Africa? Wonderful. He's from South Africa, but as I said, he says he would like he would he wouldn't mind to get citizenship in Rwanda. And who's next to him? Sorry. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, president. He is because it is an open session. We ask the presidents of the zones as well. He's our leader in Tanzania. He's the big, excellent work, good work, president from Tanzania. Can we clap hands for him, please? 
and, and that one is the president of COSAFA. The other one is the president of the region, Sekafa, where Tanzania is. The other one is the president from, uh, not keep from, uh, from, you see he's taking a photo, he, from, from, uh, he's from Kosafa, but from Zimbabwe. Can we clap hands, please? Yeah, thank you. He, he says he's gonna show the president of uh, Zimbabwe that I was with your brother today. <laughs> and then, uh, oh, mon frere, president uh, of Wafu, Wafu A, that's right, but uh, also president of Guinea Conakry. They gave me, they always give me beautiful food uh, when I'm in Guinea Conakry. Can we clap hands for him as well? So that's all, eh? Yeah. Thank you so much, president. It's a deep, deep honor for us, huge honor to be home. Uh, you do inc exceptional work, provide leadership, not just in this country, but on the continent. I've had the honor of over many, many years seeing you represent Africa, talk on behalf of us, uh, and make us proud in terms of the partnerships that we are building with the rest of the world. And of course, today it's about football and uh, the unique role that football plays uh, in the lives of millions and millions of our people. And it's a great honor for us to have really one of the most outstanding leaders on the continent who inspires and makes all of us very proud. And uh, you show us in your beautiful country what can be done. And also your commitment to football, your commitment to sports overall is something that inspires all of us. And we also say that in you, we, have a, we don't only have an ambassador, we've got a partner who talks on our behalf with all of the other presidents with all of the other heads of states in Africa to say to them, we have to work together to support the most popular sport of football on the continent. It's an honor to have you here, President, and uh, uh, we are home and we are grateful that you'll spend a few minutes uh, talking to us. And I also want to thank uh, our brother for the deep love he has, not just for football, but for Africa and the huge support that he provides, because we need partners to get Africa to be amongst the best in the world. Uh, we need FIFA and President, we are very honored to have you. Can you please clap hands and stand up for our President, please. Thank you. Okay, very good. So you, you still have to wait a few more minutes before uh, you can hear President uh, Paul Kagame. Let me, let me say how uh, happy I am, uh, President, to be here in Kigali, to be back in Rwanda, to be back home. This country uh, is uh, not only a beautiful country, but it is uh, particularly close because uh, it, in this country, uh, a lot has happened during my first campaign to become FIFA president. The Shan was uh, being played here in, uh, in Kigali, in, in Rwanda. I attended the opening, I attended the final um, in which the, the RDC won uh, the trophy under a rain uh, storm. Um, and of course, I attended many, many, many meetings with uh, many, many people, uh, who, some of which voted then for me, some of which voted for somebody else. But it was an incredible experience because um, I had the honor as well to meet uh, you, uh, President, and uh, to learn immediately that uh, not only you are a great leader and the testimony is simply this country, you walk out of this hotel, you walk around the city, you walk around the country, you see that. Doesn't need any, any explanation. But I met already a person who is a true football fan. 
And as a true football fan and a true football person, uh, President, you live the values of our sport. And we are saying it, of course, but maybe we are not always objective when we say this. Football is more than just a sport. Football is a school for life. Football is teaching us so many things. Football is teaching us uh, to be part of a team, for example. It's teaching us that alone we cannot achieve anything. Football is teaching us respect, respect for the rules, respect for our opponents, respect for a referee who has to apply the rules. Football is teaching us to win, but it's teaching us also to lose. And uh, more importantly, it's teaching us that after you lose a game, there is a next game coming up very soon and you want to go and win that next game. So it's teaching us resilience and to stand up to new challenges, to new games uh, for football. And um, your personal uh, history, President, the history of this country, the way in which this country has become uh, an example, not only for uh, East Africa, not only for Africa, but for the entire, entire world, shows us really that everything is possible. Everything is possible. We just need to want it, and then we need to do it. And this is what uh, you, President Karan, have been doing here and are doing in Africa. This is what we try, and I said this to our sisters and brothers and colleagues and friends here earlier this morning. This is what we all together want to do and try to do for Africa and African football. To rewrite glorious pages of African football, not only for Africa, but for the world. We want African football to shine all over the world. We want to show to the world what can be done here, not only in terms of talent, which is in every corner of every street, in every country in uh, uh, this beautiful continent, but also in terms of uh, results, in terms of achievements, uh, in terms of football infrastructure, football competition, in terms of development of talent. What you have done here is an example uh, for all of us. We have been and are working together on many, many different areas, starting from uh, governance, going through infrastructure and to competition, but also, and uh, we'll hear in a few minutes from uh, uh, Arsene Wenger, uh, development of football. Because we need to give every talent a chance. And if you look at how many talents there are in Africa, in Rwanda, give them a chance. For this reason, we are all here. For this reason, we take example from you. And again, thank you very much for the honor you give us to be with you and for you to be with us. Thank you. President, I'd like the General Secretary of CAF just to stand up, please, so that we recognize him, Veron Busenga Omba. Can we clap hands for him as well? And, uh, and finally, one of the best coaches ever, uh, Monfre Veron, welcome. Uh, one of the best coaches ever who's going to make a presentation and uh, in a class of his own, uh, his ex, oh, his excellency. Uh, Asen Wenger, can you please stand up so that we clap hands for him? Asen is there at the back. Thank you. He'll be making a presentation later, and we want to learn from him so that we can become better in Africa. President, thank you so much. Thank you. Y yes, please. Can we clap hands for our president, please? Well, um, a good morning to you all. Um, first, um, very pleased, and I know I'm saying it on behalf of my country, men and women, and also government, uh, to have you here um, is a, a badge of honor, 
uh, for us and uh, not only in the footballing uh, aspect, uh, but also in many other ways. Uh, so I wanted to start on note of uh, welcoming you. And I do that starting with the, the friends and brothers uh, who are here, uh, all of you, uh, starting with the, uh, my brother, friend, uh, Gianni, uh, the president of uh, FIFA, and also my younger brother, and a friend, Patrice, the president of uh, CAF, and uh, a singular honor to recognize uh, each one of you here today in your capacities uh, also, and thank you for being available uh, for this event you organized. Uh, um, to take place here in our country. The two brothers I'm sitting with here uh, at the high table, this end of it, I have known for a long time, not only just known, but also shared many things, and uh, our minds are more or less synchronized on uh, what to do for sport, for football, famous today for that, but also how that translates into tangible uh, things to improve lives, and particularly uh, for our continent, the continent of Africa. Uh, they have so much uh, in them to give, and I have love for Africa as well. Uh, I have enjoyed working with them, I have enjoyed knowing them, and uh, as I said, uh, they are, we are a family. It's, it's not just a, a friendship. And so do we uh, feel we extend that to you or get that from you, uh, those who have honored us to be here for this. Now, I, I do politics for, for a living, <laughs> if I may start with that. <laughs> but I also make sure that I have to do or get involved with good politics. It's not just politics, it has to be good politics. And because of that background, I find almost in everything politics. Or oh, there is a convergence between politics and everything else. And that is not by accident, it's because There are similarities irrespective of whatever sector you are looking at. If you look at sports, sports teams, clubs, whatever, from football to any other sports, builds on a number of things. And it becomes similar to everything we do in politics, whether it is government or any other kind of politics. It's about leadership. You have to have leaders. You have to have a vision. And then when it comes down to details, you find in our daily exercise of duty, we want to work as a team. 
whether it is football or any other sport, or government, and so on. In the same exercise of duty, we want to be also humble about it. That's what will give us maximum results. There is a humility in what we do so that we maximize the benefits and the outcomes of whatever we do. We find competition. We have to be competitive in whatever we do. This is all for maximizing on the outcomes of what we do. We have to work together, not only as the teams that are involved in doing whatever specific task, but we also think about others beyond our specific teams. These are even the funds. If you have a government, like a, I lead one, you see all that through it. It's a government, it's a team, but a team serving what purpose? It's for the citizens of our country. Apart from a vision, therefore, you also have to have an ambition. You have to have a drive. You want to achieve. And in this achieving, there is nobody excluded, including yourself. Maybe start with yourself. Achieving gives you a level of satisfaction. But do you want to achieve alone? Do you want to be satisfied alone? then you have breached certain rules of the principles I was talking about because you can't be happy alone until members of the team and beyond are also happy. So that means you have to be thinking of others. And I find that convergence every day, whichever way you look at it, whether it is teams, whether it is whatever, in whatever sport, or particularly in football. And since we are here for football, I will just confide my remarks a little bit now to that. The ladies, the distinguished ladies and gentlemen who are here with us, I'll just try to find a message for you. And that is, this is football we are talking about, globally. That's why you have the president of FIFA and his team here. But there is Africa as well, and this is what you all of you represent. 